Hey everyone, this is Gail. Oh, I just looked at my hair in the camera. Uh, staying at home really does something. I hope everyone is staying safe. Uh, I just hope that everybody is staying at home like everybody, you know, like the, the president and my governor. I don't know about where you are, but, you know, we need to, to stay away from people. You know, that's just all there is to it because you don't know who has the virus. There are so many people that have, um, that are, what do they call it, asystematic, which means they had the virus, but they don't have any symptoms. So you don't know if someone that you're talking to has the virus or not. So it's really hard to know who to stay away from. So, um... You know, I've been staying at home, I guess it's been two weeks, maybe three weeks. Yeah, I think the first week that I stayed home, I did go to the dog park. Um, because there's usually not more than six or seven of us there, and we stayed pretty much. There's my dog. Can you see him? That's Tucker. We stay pretty much, you know, apart from each other, but... Uh, after the first week, I thought, well, maybe it's not such a good idea to be around people at all because, you, like you say, you just don't know. So uh, I made the decision not to go anywhere, and I don't go anywhere. I went out one day because I had an, a pickup order from the grocery store, and they had sent me the wrong thing, and I called them. It, actually, it was dog food for, tuck, for Tucker, but um, I asked them, I called them to tell them that they had sent the wrong food, even though the receipt shows the right food, what I got was the wrong food. They can't take returns because it's not safe right now. You don't know where, what environment it's coming from. So I had to go there because it was $45 for the bag of food in order to get the correct food. So that's the only time I went out. I went to customer service only and got the food and then I had some papers to sign at the bank. So they had those ready so I went through the drive through and signed those papers through the drive through and then came home. And other than that I have not been anywhere um, Every once in a while, well, I say maybe every once in a while, twice, I've put Tucker in. Let me move over a little bit so you can see him better. I can't figure out my camera is opposite. But isn't he cute? He's big. But anyway, um, the, um, I forgot what I was saying. Senior moment, I guess. But anyway, um, other than that, I haven't gone in. Oh, that's what I was saying. I sometimes put Tucker in the car because he loves riding in the car. And we'll just go out and ride around. You know, I'll, my son is building a house um, about 15 minutes from here. And I'll ride over there just to see what's going on because nobody's working there on the days that I go. And, um, you know, just to see how it's coming along. And then, you know, then I turn around and come home. We never get out of the car, never go anywhere. I did go, uh, we have a local restaurant that we have ordered food from twice. We're trying to support our local restaurants and things, and, but, you know, it's, it's hard. I mean, I know it's hard for them, but it's hard for me, too, because I don't want to go out, so... Uh, twice we've gone to, you know, they're doing curbside pickup. You call and place your order and then you, you know, go pick it up. So we've done that twice. But otherwise, I've been cooking here at home. And the main reason I wanted to touch base with you is to let you know that it's very possible that I won't get any tutorials done until we can figure out our Wi-Fi. Um... I live in the country. I moved here in September, which has been a blessing because I don't have to be around people as long as I stay home. 
My daughter is an essential employee at a bank. She is in the, the department that is processing uh, automobile loan extensions. And as you can imagine, they're swamped. She's been working overtime and everything. And then uh, last week, they finally let her bring her computer home. And she's working from home now. And the bad part is... While, you know, she's working from home, so she's using Wi-Fi. Now, I have country Wi-Fi, which means it's not like uh, Xfinity or Fios or anything like that. My Wi-Fi is through a modem, and it's through AT&T, and we are limited. Uh, we have a limited number of gigabytes that we can use every month. And we were getting pretty close to using, using it as it is, just because, mainly because, one thing, I'm on the computer almost all day. And then the other thing is it takes an awful lot of data to upload videos. And so I've, been re I've not been doing that. Any streaming that I do, I use my cell phone because I have unlimited data on my cell phone. Uh, and before you even suggest it, my, my cell phone pr plan does not include a hotspot. <coughs> that was the first thing that I thought about doing was, you know, creating a hotspot and using that. But my phone doesn't have that. So I couldn't use that to, you know, to hook up my Wi-Fi to. So it's just, it's very stressful. Uh, not stressful. It, well, it is stressful. Um, because I want to do these things for you. Easter is next week, and I want, I had these, I was going to do Easter eggs and different things, but I just can't afford, uh, if we run out of data on our plan, the charges are astronomical for the amount that we go over. And we, it, you know, I, until we get this first month behind us and know how much data my daughter's work is going to use, I just can't use it. I have to stay off my computer and, you know, just watch television, which I don't do very well. And, uh, but, you know, it's, it's really hard. So I just wanted to let you know why I haven't been showing up much recently. I did have, I, well, I do have one... Um, clay day type thing is while I was playing, make, you know, I was just thinking about making beads. Actually, what I was doing was I was trying to decide what to do for my next tutorial, and I decided I would just make some beads and to show you different types of beads to make. And it ended up being more of a play day because nothing turned out really great. They weren't awful, but, you know, it wasn't really great. So I'm just going to put that out as a clay day. And I may get that out if I can get that done. Um, but that's the last thing that I have, and I recorded that last week, uh, you know, before my daughter was home working. So I, everything is just kind of on hold, at least for a month. So I hope you understand uh, I know you will because you guys are fantastic, but uh, until we know if this is going to throw us over our data plan, there's just I just can't afford to use the data. Um, like I say, the charges for going over are ridiculous. And I've communicated with AT&T, and they have extended the amount of data because people are working from home, but I don't know if that's going to be enough because uh, I use a lot on a daily basis. So it's, you know, it's, it's going to be tough. But it, this is going to end. This is not going to last forever. And if I find that my daughter's work is not maxing out our data, then I will go back to making videos. Actually, I can record videos, I just can't upload them, so maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just go ahead and record and just upload whenever things get better. But, um, you know, it. to be perfectly honest, it takes about three days 
to do a video, uh, a tutorial video. Uh, if there's any baking that has to go on, then I usually do the part before it has to be baked. Put it in the oven, and then it's usually the next day before I get back to finish it. And if it has any other things that need to be done or multiple bakings, it takes even longer. And then by the time, I, what I have to do is I have to upload it into my movie maker where I put everything together and cut out all the bad parts. And, uh, you know, put everything together. And that requires data, uploading it onto movie maker. But then, then I have to download from Movie Maker onto my computer, which again takes data. And then I have to upload it from my computer to YouTube, which takes data. And all that really, you know, I even if I video tutorials, I won't get I won't be able to edit them or anything. So you know, but like I say, this is once this pandemic has passed and things are getting back to normal. Uh, I will get back to doing my weekly tutorials. I, to my patrons on Patreon, I'm going to be sending you a special message. So please look out for that. Um, you know, there's, that's another issue that I have right now is, is the Patreon thing. But uh, I just hope, pray for everybody to stay safe, be smart, stay home, and we'll be together again soon. Bye-bye.